It's Connie Erickson. Welcome to another Live at Five. And last week I talked about how to deal with your partner if he or she is someone who shuts down in an argument. And today I want to address the people who have told me their partners are just shut down in general. He won't talk to me. I wish he would tell me what he was thinking. He used to tell me what he was thinking when we started out, but now nothing. And partially there's a biological component to that. When we're first in love, our bodies produce a chemical called phenylethylamine, or PEA. And this chemical, which I've mentioned several times before, is pretty much the best drug going. Um, it makes us happy and open. It makes us feel like everything our partner says is fascinating. It makes us better listeners and better talkers, too. Um, but biologically, that can't last. So eventually, we go back to our baseline selves. And at baseline, we and our partners may or may not be good listeners. We may or may not be very open with our thoughts. So, sorry, it's not me. It's science. It's just the way it is. But this another reason, another giant reason why partners don't talk is because they don't feel heard. So they feel like their opinion doesn't count and it becomes much easier to just stay quiet. I had this friend, I'll call her Mary. Mary was frequently right. Really, she was. She was her first impressions of people were dead on. And everybody else would be like two years behind. Two years later you'd be like, Oh, okay, I see that now after the person showed their true colors. She was really good at problem solving, whether it was logistical, like planning transportation for 20 kids or planning a party or a home renovation. She was generally right. But that rightness was not necessarily good for her relationship. Because guess what? Eventually her husband stopped talking. He knew that no matter what he said, she was going to point out that her way was better. It led to a lot of resentment on both sides. She became completely disgusted by his lack of initiative. She felt like she had to manage every little thing regarding the house and the family. And of course, that was the case. She was right. But why would he take any initiative when she always knew how to do it better? I wish I could tell you what eventually happened with them, but I can't. Because eventually we stopped talking too, as did several other people in her life. You see, the thing is, even if you're right, even if you're really passionate about your subject matter, you have to make room for the other person, or eventually the other person shuts down. If your partner is shut down, make space for them. Really listen without judgment if they do happen to talk. Even if you disagree, wait. Make sure your partner feels understood. Here's a silly example. Let's say you're talking about money. So you're saying we should save $5 a month and eventually have enough for that addition, right? What you should say after that is, okay, let me think about that. You, what you shouldn't say is, are you crazy? What about the truck you want to buy and the daycare bill? Not to mention that $5 a month only comes to $60 a year. No, you don't say that because the more your partner feels heard, the more your partner will speak. So you wait and you say, let me think about this and get back to you. And the next time you talk, maybe a day or so later, you say, I was thinking about your idea and I'm worried about how that's going to fit in with our other goals like the truck and daycare. What do you think? And again, you wait. Don't give them the answers. If your partner doesn't have an answer, just say, well, think about it and let's talk again tomorrow. Because if your partner has been shut down for a while, he or she is probably used to you giving them the answers. Think of it like this. You're going out to dinner with your friend and you say, where do you want to go? And inevitably they say, I don't know, where do you want to go? Now they're off the hook. They don't have to take any responsibility for the results. If the food or the service stinks, they can blame you. The same holds true if you're the one always making decisions in the relationship, maybe being the reasonable one. Your partner doesn't have to take responsibility because they know you will. Maybe it's a parenting issue. 
I'm really struggling about what to do with Bobby and his phone. What do you think? And if your partner is someone who typically responds with, I don't know, your response should be, well, think about it and get back to me tomorrow. If your partner is shut down, you have to give them the opportunity to think for themselves and express their thoughts without criticism. Of course, there will be disagreements, especially if you are right. But if your partner is shut down, the most effective thing you can do is make your partner feel heard. Please, if you disagree, wait and do it kindly. Criticizing quickly or unkindly will only cement the door to communication closed. So again, this is hard work and it takes a long time, but be patient. It, I guarantee it will help this relationship and every relationship you have. So that's it. I'll see you next week. Thanks for being here.